All right, everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be doing an unboxing and giving my first thoughts on the Yulphone Note 16 Pro. Okay, so before I even get into the specs and even show you the phone, this is an extremely cheap budget Android phone. I picked this up on the Prime Deal days or whatever it was called for a ridiculously cheap price. This phone is still going for a price of sub 150, okay? Fully unlocked, all right? So the specs, you know, you gotta take them for what it is. You gotta take it for the price of the phone and realize this is not a thousand dollar phone. This is not a $500 phone, 250 phone. This is a phone that costs sub 150. And you may, and it may be even like sub 130, depending on what storage configuration that you get in this phone. So, um, yeah. Starting off here, I'm going to give you the specs of this phone before even unboxing it and getting into it. Just to show you what this phone does offer for a price that costs like $139 right now, okay? So, we're going to start off with the display. We have a 6.52 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 720 by 1600 with a 20 by 9 aspect ratio with 269 pixels per inch. As far as the processor, this phone runs the Unisoc T606 octa-core processor. And that is a very entry level, to best of my knowledge, uh, processor. I've never used a phone before with a Unisoc processor. Uh, you got a choice of 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Or this model here, which is 8 gigabytes of RAM and storage of 256. 256, okay, with an SD card slot as well for under 150. Not bad there, okay. Going to the cameras. Now it's got two on the rear. You got a 50 megapixel wide angle lens with aperture of f1.8 and a 2 megapixel macro lens aperture of f2.6. Can record at full 1080 at 30 frames per second. Front camera is 8 megapixel wide angle lens, aperture of f2.0, and I'm not sure if it records in 1080p or 720. I think it's 720p in the front, so like I said, price point. For the battery, it's got a 4400 milliamp hour battery with 10 watt charging. Also comes in three colors, Midnight Violet, Serenity Blue, and Meteorite Black. And it's currently running on the latest Android 13 operating system. So, with all that being said, let's just go ahead, pop the top, and we'll see what we get here in the box. So, right on top here, of course, is the phone. We'll take it out and put it to the side. So, right up here, got your SIM ejection tool. Uh, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll pop this out here. Now, you do get your little booklets and stuff like that that nobody really cares about. Uh, what's also nice is the fact that you do get a case that comes inside. Um, I do, uh, we'll look at that here in a minute because it's some plastic and I'm trying to make this kind of quick. A little notice thing there. You also get a wall adapter here. It is 10 watts, nothing really to, to really brag about here, but it is a 10 watt charger and brick and it does come in the box. And you also get a USB type A to USB type C charging cable. Okay, so taking a first look at the phone right out of the box, the phone looks nice, okay? Now, the first thing that you're going to realize and notice that, yes, it does look very iPhone-ish, okay? Now, I did pick up the Midnight Violet, I think that's what it's called, and just because it looks really good. And the kind of the color shift there, it just has a really nice look to it. Back there, of course, is your dual camera setup with your flash. Like I said, when you look at it, you think iPhone, okay? I know that. Uh, phone's very lightweight, okay? It feels a lot lighter than I thought it was going to, uh, but it's got a decent feel in the hand. Now, I will say this here before we get to the video. It is nice to see whenever a company, you know, releases a phone like this that you can buy for $130, $140, and it comes with a charger. It comes with a pre-installed screen protector. It comes with a case yeah 50 cent case here but at least it comes with something you know that shows a whole lot and as far as updates i know someone's going to write this phone off right from the beginning because of this that or the other 
Now, as far as updates go, they are saying this phone should get a couple years of updates. Now, I can't guarantee how sporadic that's going to be or how reliable that's going to be or if it's going to happen at all. But that's what they are saying. So anyway, looking at the phone here, going to the right side of the phone, you know, it does have this more of a shiny, dark purple look. This looks really nice, honestly. Got your power button there that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Now, if you look up here closely, you can see a textured volume rocker. Uh, kind of a nice look there. On top, we have nothing. On the left, we have your SIM and SD card slot. Now, this phone is dual SIM, or you can put an SD card and one SIM in this phone. And on the bottom, got your headphone jack, microphone, Type-C charging, and bottom firing speaker and your 6.5 inch display right here let's go ahead and power the phone up for the first time got your phone there powered by android so uh yeah i'll go ahead get this phone all set up and we'll come back when it's finished okay so we're all set up now and ready to go now like i mentioned earlier it's nice whenever a manufacturer gives you something as small as a little gel skin case in the box okay it's not much but at least they give it to you when you pull your phone out of the box get it set up you know you ain't gotta wait for a case to come nothing like that you already have one and i mean it may not offer that much protection but at least it gives you something here to give you a little bit of you know extra grip whenever you pull it out of the box like i said it's not much but this here is grippy and you're able to hold on to your phone until you can get a more expensive case for your phone. So it is nice to see, you know, whenever they include a screen protector, whenever they include a little case, a charging brick. I mean, just the stuff that you nor used to normally see in phones, you don't see anymore. So, yeah, they need to get on the ball, you know, with these more expensive phones. Because, yeah, anyway, turn the phone around here. Pushing the power button. There is multiple ways to open up the phone. Of course, you can swipe up for your PIN, your pattern, your password. Also has fingerprint scanner. Try that out now. And it works fine. Now, this phone also has face unlock. Now, when you have, you know, the beard going on and everything, sometimes they don't want to set up. And I had the same problem with this phone. I've had it with several other phones as well. I couldn't get it to set up. It said that something was hiding my face. Well, of course it is, you know but it ought to set up anyway but some phones just don't do it so but the fingerprint scanner on here works just fine you see right there boom every single time it's quick nothing really wrong with it now the display being 720p it looks good i mean i'm really surprised at how good the display looks on this phone being only 720p i mean it's very vibrant it's very clear and now this phone does have a 60 refresh rate like i said price point okay it's all about price point you can't expect this phone to have 90 hertz 120 hertz and all this expensive features for a phone that you can get around 130 to 140 you know what i'm saying so swiping up here you got you know all your apps pretty much just a stock experience here you know there's not much on the phone you have a little toolbox here gives you a flashlight bubble level uh picture hanging measure height just stuff like that you know not a whole lot but it is something they give you you got an fm radio as well which you will need to plug in 3.5 millimeter to get that to work um so yeah pretty much just stock here going on now it says we got a software update already or a wireless update some of these phones have different types of updates okay you have the system update that you get like from like android or whatever and then you get like these wireless ones that pop up from i guess the manufacturer or whatever but it says there's a new version available it is currently on android version 13 and on the june security patch so swiping over here well, this is an Android phone, but nothing right now is popping up. Now, while we're on this, this this screen here, you know, you do see the bezel at the bottom. You know, it is a little bit thicker. You know, it's, like I may mention, bezels has never really bothered me that much. But they could have at least extended out the screen a little bit further and made that bezel a little bit thinner. But one thing that annoys me more than that now is these ugly teardrop notches, okay? They need to just go away. 
honestly, if this had a little hole punch camera, it would have been a whole lot better. I would, I, I can stand this down here more than I can stand this up here. Just my personal opinion. You know, I hate teardrop notches. I have for a long time. But like I said, sub 150. So you got to kind of look at that. Now pulling the drop down here, you will see just your typical Android 13 stuff. Pretty much stock stuff. You got your little flashlight back here. A location of Bluetooth, nearby share, screen recorder, you know, all that kind of cool stuff there. Going to the settings here for a little bit. So for connected devices, you won't see no NFC, nothing like that on this phone here. Get your Bluetooth, Cast, Print, and Chromebook, Android Auto, nearby share, stuff like that. Um, also, the haptics are pretty good on this phone as I'm backing up. It's kind of a subtle feel, and it's just got a really nice feel to the haptics here. So you got your smart assistant here for your system navigation. So if you want your three buttons, you can have that down there at the bottom, just like the old phones do. But gestures, you know, yeah. Once you get used to that, it's just hard to go back. Emergency rescue, gesture control here, three finger screenshot. Actually, three fingers screen hot. Okay. <laughs> you see that sometimes um you know in these phones where they may be uh missing a letter you know three finger into the camera three finger into the camera okay <laughs> okay anyways <laughs> okay let's back out of that <laughs> okay lift to check phone uh smart motion um you can use it for an easy bell easy answer or mute incoming calls okay screenshot setting stuff like that so typical stuff that you always see the battery so i'm very interested to see how the battery is going to work in this phone you know i will be doing my battery test as i normally do um, adaptive battery ultra saving mode battery percentage you can you know power intensive apps stuff like that you see on most phones nowadays storage 244 gigabytes free now this is what without an sd card you know, they have a 128 gigabyte version and they have a 256 gigabyte version. This is the 256. 11 gigabytes is used by the system. And, I mean, that's a lot of storage for a phone. I mean, you don't even see this. I mean, what, iPhones just now became standard 128 like a year or two ago? I mean, really? For the lowest? And, you know, you can, and even some of the higher end Samsungs, I mean, really uh it just shows a lot there anyway you can also add an sd card slot to i think double that storage so it's pretty nice to see that there sound and vibration yeah ring and notification volume is together i don't like that but it is what it is uh nothing here really yeah typical stuff uh display let's go ahead and turn on dark mode we definitely need definitely need dark mode yeah, there we go. Going out of focus there in light mode for some reason or another. Uh, like I said, I think it's got 60 hertz display. No 90 hertz here. So it's, it's not expected. It's price point, so don't expect it. Don't be like, oh, well, it's not got 90 or 120. It ain't going to, okay? Remember, price point. Um, contrast, automatic, increased contrast, or standard. You can also go down here and have standard, warm, or cool. So you can really mess with this display to make it look even more vibrant than really what it already is. Video display enhancement. So you can turn this on and it will improve applicable programs. Okay, so YouTube. I don't really see why files needs to be enhanced. But anyway, you know, it's all there. Um, auto rotate screen. Uh, backlight power saving. Wallpapers in style. So you got your dark theme here. You got your themed icons. And it's so nice uh, well, I was going to say it was so nice. They offered 5x5, five five, but they don't. They offer 4x4 four four and 4x5. Four <sighs> Whatever. Okay. So anyway, it's back out of that. You got themed icons as well. Uh, different wallpapers to choose from as well. A lot of them are about the same. Just different colors, stuff like that. So um, security. So security update is June 5th, 2023. And, yeah, all that good stuff there. Face and fingerprint setup, privacy, safety, per, uh, passwords and accounts, smart wake-up, digital well-being, Google, your memory expansion. So, 
This phone has a gigabyte SRAM. You can further expand that with an extra gigabyte with extra eight gigabytes of RAM uh, if you want to use that. Does it really help the phone? I really don't know. You know, I've not really seen much of a difference with that on or off, but we'll test that out and we'll see. Uh, here is system. So you got your gestures up here. Uh, quickly open camera, one-handed mode, press and hold power button. So you can actually use this here for an assistant, but right now, default, it is set to power the phone off, which is where it needs to be. Uh, three pointer screenshots and stuff like that. System update. So like if I go right here in system update, you will see that it says that um, that it's unavailable all because Wi-Fi is turned off. Let's go in here. Let's just um, turn on turn on Wi-Fi here for a moment, and we will check for updates right quick. Like so, checking for updates now. You will see that this is up to date. But when I back out of here and go up, uh, let's go to about phone here. You will see wireless update. This is mainly from your phone, I'm guessing. But you will see right there the device name Note 16 Pro. If we press that, yeah, we'll see. You'll see it optimizes the system, update Google security patch. Okay, so I don't know. We'll try this out and I will, you know, we'll come up back with all this stuff at a later time. But overall, just first look of it here, I mean... 130 140 bucks i mean you can you can lower the ram and storage and really make this phone cheaper but right out of the box now it does have a single bottom firing speaker it does not have all the bells and whistles it's basically a stock experience here but before we do leave i do want to get to the camera just for a brief moment um to see what we have going on in here uh we got smart capture and all that kind of stuff so you got your capture mode pro mode you got portrait mode so up here, get your filters, beauty mode, go up in here. Now here's storage pass. So if you have an SD card, you just press that, SD will pop up. You can push SD and all of your photos and videos will go to that instead of the phone. So picture size, like I said, 50 megapixel camera, but the main is 12 megapixel, 4x3, and it just drops down from there. Picture quality, super fine, fine and normal. You can add a watermark or whatever. Leveler and AI scene recognition. We'll turn that on. Okay, so anyway, got your video mode. Let's go ahead and hit that. And uh, you will see here that we can record at 1480, 720 and 480, all at 30 frames per second. And... Um, you got video stabilization, microphone switch, face detection, stuff like that. Uh, you got your slow motion, and you have more time lapse, audio note, ultra res. That's your 50 megapixel uh, button there, macro, and night mode. So uh, yeah, I mean just your standard stuff. We will, I will definitely test the camera out on this phone and stuff like that. But so far, out of the box, like I said. This is my first time using the processor that's in this phone, uh, the, Uni, the, the Unisoc T606 or whatever. So I will be thoroughly testing this processor out, seeing how it does on battery, on heating, um, to, and just seeing how the phone is overall. So if it's in form of it anyway, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it down below. If you're new here and not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Clicking that bell beside it for all notifications of future videos to come. I would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.